Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. In this video, we're going to take a look at three projects which I believe are massively undervalued. We've had quite a significant pullback across the market, so that's opened up some opportunities that we didn't have last month. So we'll take a look at three assets which I think uh, should be part of your portfolio over the course of the next, the next few months. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So welcome to the channel. We're going to start off with one of my favorite assets and one which is at an insane price right now. Polkadot is currently at $28.92. The entire market has dropped. Bitcoin has dropped. You would have thought due to the fact of the fundamentals currently on play with Polkadot just due to the fact it's layer zero. Polkadot power chain auctions are now in swing. Polkadot is getting locked up on a daily basis. Locked up for two years that is them bringing scarcity to the asset, which in reality should bring pumper mentals. But so far, um, Bitcoin is casting a shadow over that and, and over the entire market. Um, looking at this green band, though, this is an area which I think is a critical area of support and a critical area where you should be buying. Buy when others are fearful. I can imagine a lot of people saw this rise up to the all-time highs and thinking, right, I'm going to buy into this. I like what the asset's doing. But when it's down here at these current prices, people are thinking, oh, right, it's dropped. I don't want to buy in it. These are the times when you should be buying. This green band is a clinical or critical, should I say, area support. It was support here, support, support, then flipped to resistance, and then it was massive area support around here. And that's where we're currently sat, just above that area of support. For me, if you're looking for buys, personally, I would be just market buying at this region. And then if you're looking for some um, buys a little bit low, if we do get another week down, then we have this uh, this horizontal ray here, this yellow line, which is an area of support back here when this wick did um, happen back in September. Uh, maybe if you got a bit of tether spare, bang it at $22 there. I think this asset is massively undervalued and that price is a steal. Looking at the RSI down here, this here was massively oversold. It was pretty much down to 28 If it dropped any lower, then it, it would have been even better. But you can use the RSI to your advantage. For example... If you look here when the RSI was overbought, here we dropped. If you look here when the RSI was overbought, we dropped. Very similar to here, we was oversold and then bang straight to the upside. You get you get my drift. Use the RSI to your advantage. If you're looking to use this um, RSI here, um, it is called RSI Custom Band. So you'll find that in the indicators up here. We have had a bearish cross here. But do not worry about bearish crosses. They usually um, appear a couple of weeks after the price action has already happened. So the, the bearish period started here, red right across here. I'm expecting a nice steady rise soon. And if you're looking to accumulate and you want to buy here, so if you want to build your bags up, buy here, wait for a price to come back up to around $37 and then look to sell there. Because if you look here at the top of that, that cup and handle there, that was an area we rejected and it was in a key area support down here. So this is an area I would look to accumulate. Only maybe five to 10% of your bag uh, but that is an area I would consider. And then we also have $46. And then we have the all-time high up at four, uh, $55. So three areas there for to sell. If you're looking to take profit or accumulate. I think the, the price action is now going to push up. We may potentially get a little bit of sideways action before we do start to break up. Um, but for me, whatever happens, even if it comes down to this level here, which I can't see it down at $14. That happened in the past, but... I think that is a great area for you to, to load up. So here is the area to buy. If it drops lower, um, keep a little bit of a spare. But personally, I think this is a bottom now and I think it's going to um, a little consolidate and then start to push to the upside. So that's asset number one. Polkadot is one of my most valued assets and I think now it's massively undervalued. Next project is Multivac. This has had one hell of a sell-off and I can't believe it's actually dropped down, but... Again, Fibonacci's rule, and we have used this region here, this 786 level, as support down at 0.008. We actually dropped down to here, which was a previous high, uh, a local high down at that region at 0.0078, uh, and that acted as a nice level of support. So if you just run that band again all the way across there, that was the area to buy. Again, anything under this 608 level here is undervalued, in my opinion. I'm actually gobsmacked it dropped that low if we just look at this in terms of a price range from a top to a bottom there we did a 72 percent drop 
fundamentally the projects is sound they are building a lot of things coming their way so for me if you're looking for buys I would target any buys under 0.0128. I would ladder a few orders in, probably from that fib, um, all the way down to here, down to that region at 0.008. If you do manage to pick some up within that range, then I think that will be a great period for you to, to pick up some because, like I say, fundamentally, nothing's changed. Pick some orders up here and then ride that back up. The key area is breaking that 618. Once it does break above it, I think we're going to shoot up to around 1.8% really quick. The first thing we need to do is get back above these moving averages. We're on the daily time frame here, and we do actually need to break above these two, uh, even the, the 20, which is low here. We need to get back above the 20, and then in course, get back above the 50. But we've had that bearish cross here at 2 cent. It actually happened back here, didn't it, when we were back in October. So, like I always say, these uh, crossovers on moving averages usually give you an indication way too late so you can't act on them looking at rsi though the rsi is well oversold red marker down towards that green band oversold means buy if you're looking at other periods again we'll, we'll just go through this motion look when it was massively overbought here which was here we drop down to there so it can give you a good indication we are now overbought and i think there's a good chance we're going to range bound and then push to the upside so again that's another project which i am massively massively bullish on and i think it's a great level to buy moving on to the next one is rsr this has just been absolutely hammered this if you look onto the um the app store um in a lot of these countries uh, which have been hammered by hyperinflation RSR is trending as number one app on the Apple Tunes iStore, so um, iTunes Store. So that's a, a, a bullish thing to keep your eyes on. Uh, looking at this though, in terms of a drop, which is very significant, it's from the highs to the very lows. I mean, all the way down to that point there. Can't we did an eighty-six percent drop? Currently, we are sixty-nine percent down from the all-time highs, and this again is another buy. I have got lots of green bands marked up, which is the lows, and I do not think we're going to lower them, to be honest. This is currently uh, trading around 0 0.032, so that's 3.2 cent. It is an area I would be throwing a kitchen sink at. We actually need to break out of this. We did, we, the last week, we were starting to push up, and we, did, we were looking really well, but as usual, Bit came, uh, Bitcoin came and spoiled apart, and we dropped back down to this trend. The first area we need to get back above is this downtrend. Break that at around 4.2 cent, and then we can go on and, and, and re-attack this area of resistance up at 6.2 cent. Fundamentally, uh, it's a solid asset. I don't think too many people really uh, consider what this project is trying to achieve. And I think once it does start to um, take place, that the RSR and the RSV token are working together. Once mainnet is out, once staking is out, this is going to be bullish. It does have quite a significant supply, uh, which can put a lot of people off. Um, but that supply is going to be used wisely and for me even if you've got a small bag i think it's definitely a project that you should consider looking into and then finally one more product which i believe is massively undervalued even though it has had such a significant rise is meta hero i've been talking about this on my channel for a long time and, and i will continue to talk about it i hold quite a substantial bag but i'm nowhere near to selling i think this what they are trying to achieve is one in a million 3d scanning with photo geometry this weekend coming up they are a sponsor of a rich list at the abu dhabi formula one grand prix which is massive One hundred and fifty thousand people are estimated to be there over that weekend on the yaz island in yaz marina where we've got that massive hotel uh, you all recognize it met hero is going to be on the sponsorship of that building i think it's going to really gain some traction currently we are just in this downtrend here and we are rejecting off 20 cent if we break 20 cent the all-time high should come fairly quick to be honest so if you're looking for some buys um i would get them in soon um maybe ladder a few in ladder them down to this 17 cent region it could be an area where we've used support in the past could be an area where we can break um break down to but what happens first do we break up or do we break down if we break down we can potentially see something a little bit, a little bit like this before we do break out, or we're just going to break out to the upside fairly quick. So for me, this is a buy. This is a great buy now. Um, our site is around mid ground, so we're neither oversold or um, overbought. So it, fundamentally, it's strong. It's got an actual physical product, and also we've got Everdome coming. So a lot of people are locking their hero up for the next uh, 
the next month now in order to get onto our Everdome ICO or IDO should I say so that is four projects there which I'm I think are massively undervalued the RSI is on the ground and most apart from Hero um, so if you're looking to crypto if you're new to crypto and you're wanting to buy some assets which are um, going to perform well over the course of the next the next month to, to three months then take a look at those projects i think you'll be um surprised how well they do actually perform so that's going to do it if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time